Um, well, I would, I mean, when we um, first wrote the book outlining the, the Kindle approach, the Data Warehouse Lifecycle Toolkit, we um, named our approach the, the Business Dimensional Lifecycle Approach. And we came up with that very kind of um, non-memorable name because it identified the things that we that were differentiating factors back in the 1990s. We felt very, very strongly that you should focus on the business. We feel strongly that the data that's delivered to the um, business intelligence layer should be dimensional. And we felt strongly about having incremental life cycle um, uh, projects so that you know you were trying to tackle the galactic so those were the factors that differentiated us back in the 90s um, nowadays you know I think good news a lot of other people are speaking of those um, same tenants so you know there's been um, industry acceptance of those factors but um, I would say that you know I what sets us ap apart now is this just the longevity of our approach and the, the acceptance within the industry. I mean, we have sold, I think it's around 360,000 uh, Kimball books, which, um, you know, who knew there were 360,000 people in the world interested in data warehousing and business intelligence. So there's just been this, um, you know, broad, acceptance of our techniques, which is, which is very gratifying. Yes, I, I totally agree with Marty that uh, the, sort of the idea of a business-driven approach is, is something that, that uh, was sort of natural for us when we first started doing this. It was, it was sort of like, why would you do this if you didn't have a good reason? Um, but it's, and, and it's true that other uh, you know, sort of approaches and organizations have sort of layered on a, a business component to what they do. But I would, I mean, if I look at what at, at what I see other people doing in terms of their approach compared to our approach, the business part is really tightly woven into everything we do. It's not just lip service. It's not just upfront window dressing, if you will. It's uh, uh, you know, so we. We really focus on understanding what's important to the business and what's going to drive value or impact to the organization, whatever the organization is. And um, that, in turn, drives many other decisions about the system itself. Uh, we don't say, for example, oh, well, you should, here, your data warehouse business intelligence system should have all these pieces and it should look like this and you should do this first and that first, because it doesn't make sense for every organization. Not every organization, for example, needs an operational data store. Uh, it's, it's useful for certain kinds of problems, it's useful for certain uh, kinds of sort of data flows, if you will, but it's not critical to everybody. Um, so, so don't build it unless you need it. And the way you know you need it is based on the business requirements. So it impacts the technology, it obviously impacts the data model. Um, we really advocate creating a data model that is tied tightly to how people look at their world from a business perspective and how they measure and how they what what performance metrics they want to track. And that you know I have to be careful because that sounds like, oh you're building a model based on a business, a specific business requirement. And that's not at all what we're advocating. But what we are saying is that you really need to understand what people want to look at from a business perspective uh, and make sure that that's part of what you build. Um, and of course, it, it, it impacts the, the applications that you're going to create, the reports, the analytics, and so on. If you don't understand what people are going to do, you don't know that you're actually going to deliver value to them at, at the end of the process. I mean, that has to be part, has to be tied into the full end-to-end -end delivery, if you will. So it's, um, it, is, it is central to what we, to what we uh, sort of advocate and continues to be. And I really think in a way that other approaches uh, don't, it, it's, it's not so ingrained, if you will, in terms of what they do. You know, and another aspect is the, um, the emphasis we put on collaboration with the business. Hmm. So it's, it's not just, you know, us kind of trying to discern what the business needs and then, you know, building something. It's this continual involvement from the business through the, you know, starting with the requirements through uh, collaborative workshops to design the model, and then obviously collaboration 
to put together the business intelligence applications. So collaboration is key. Yeah, that's really, that's a good definition.